Hey guys, Desolate Magic here, and we've got another overlooked but awesome card. Now I noticed that the last couple were uniquely useful, powerful, interesting. So now it's time to go back to just plain weird. This card is overlooked because absolutely nobody plays it, and it's awesome purely for being weirdly specific and virtually unplayable. This card was actually printed in Alpha, Beta, Unlimited, Revised, and 4th Edition, and then they gave up on it because it's just that dumb. And one more thing I should probably explain is that back then, uh, the subtype line on cards were phrased like, Summon Bear. It wasn't, oh, this is a creature spell, here's the subtype. Since everything in the game is considered a spell that's castable, it was just a spell that summoned you a creature. And so they phrased it as such. Now, enchantments were titled uh, according to what they targeted. Now that you know that, let's take a look at Power Leak. Ladies and gentlemen, for the low, low price of just two mana, only one of which has to be blue, you can enchant enchantment. It's the double agent of enchantment spells. Now, the original wording is during the upkeep of target enchantments controller, Power Leak does two damage to him or her. That player may pay one generic for each damage he or she wishes to prevent from Power Leak. I actually think that that's a better way to phrase it than the updated oracle text, which actually makes it sound even more ridiculous. So the updated oracle, like, full card revision, says that the, the type line is enchantment hyphen aura, of course, and then the first phrase in the text box is enchant enchantment, just to state the restriction. Then it says in what I think could be called, like, reverse logical order or complete passive voice, or something like that, at the beginning of the upkeep of Enchanted Enchantments Controller, that player may pay any amount of mana. Got that? Me neither. Um, Power Leak does two damage to that player, prevent X of that damage, where X is the amount of mana that player paid this way. Here's a fun question. Why would you ever pay more than two? And keep in mind, I'm pretty sure this Oracle text and honestly the function of the card, because now it's X, I'm pretty sure it was updated to say this after mana burn. Also, it's during your upkeep. Like, how much mana would you accidentally have during your upkeep? So I'm struggling to find any kind of explanation for why they really had to convert it to X. I think they could have phrased it similarly. And nobody in their right mind would pay above three. I mean, unless, I guess, all damage was increased from all sources or from blue sources or somehow it wasn't two. Let's uh, step back and remember for a second... This isn't just an enchantment you throw down and then, oh, it's two damage unless they prevent it. Oh, cool. This is an aura that can only be attached to other enchantments. So this is so weirdly specific and narrow and just odd. I can't believe it got printed four times. I guess the game was so simplistic back then when this was printed that enchantments were huge, so they wanted some way to punish somebody for playing enchantments other than just, oh look, I removed one. So they thought, hey, let's cost him either two mana or two life, and it'll be like this constant ticking time bomb. So I guess when it was printed it was kind of neat, but wow. So it kind of goes without saying, but most versions of this card are 25 cents. In fact, even the alpha version is only 20, and beta is $2.79 on the retail market. Ouch. So, very weird, previously useful, and now just absolutely obscure and virtually unplayable. That is about as weird as it gets, but I'm not going to leave you guys hanging. If you want a version of this that's actually good, check out one of my favorite cards from when it was legal in M25 and Return to Ravnica, Stab Wound. I know it's not blue and it costs three, but it's an enchantment aura, except you enchant a creature, which they're more likely to have. Now, you could use this as a kill spell. I mean, it's negative two, negative two. Yeah, it'd be a little overcosted, but okay. Otherwise, the whole point is that you're shrinking a creature that you want to survive. Ideally, you would throw this on a two, three, because that would be hilarious. But it gets better at the beginning of the upkeep of Enchanted Creatures Controller, that player loses two life. Once again, they felt the need to phrase it backwards. I guess that's a thing for them. But it's still pretty obvious what it does. I mean, it's two damage, cannot be prevented, and the only way to stop it is to get rid of this aura or the creature that it's attached to. It really kind of stops you from going into combat in some circumstances because they could just take their crappy little shrunk creature and block with it and then, oh, look, it died. But in the right deck, this will absolutely destroy people. I absolutely love it, and it is infinitely better than Power Leak. So thanks, everybody, for watching, and I will see you next video.